Welcome back, fight fans. Welcome back. Let's just dig right into it. Now, one of my subscribers has actually sent me a link to Fight Hub TV. Now, thanks to Fight Hub, I, I basically got this interview from Errol Spence Jr. and where he states that he'll beat Gennady Golovkin. He thinks that's a good fight for him. He thinks that he has the skill to beat Gennady Golovkin. And I just really wanted to break that down unbiasedly, of course. I like Errol Spence Jr. I think his more natural weight class is between 154 and 160 pounds. I don't believe he's a natural welterweight. So I think that it would be an interesting matchup. But here's the problem with Errol Spence Jr. Is that he would think that he can challenge the best in the division at 160 pounds. The top five type of fighters such as a Gennady Golovkin. Which makes no sense to me. Because if you look at it like this. Errol Spence Jr. is no longer going to be the same force he is at 147. That he would be at 160. Especially against a Gennady Golovkin. Because think about it. If Kell Brook was rocking Errol Spence Jr. within the first six rounds. Visibly hurting Errol Spence Jr. Imagine what Gennady Golovkin will do. Gennady Golovkin, in my opinion, stops Errol Spence Jr. early in that fight within the first five rounds. And you have to understand that Errol Spence Jr. isn't a big middleweight. He's a big welterweight. So if Gennady Golovkin and Errol Spence Jr. are, are fighting, a lot of people want to draw from the Kell Brook fight, which is a mutual opponent. Now, Gennady Golovkin finished Kell Brook much sooner than Errol Spence Jr., but Gennady Golovkin also broke Kell Brook's eye socket. And he also fractured the other side of his face, which is why when he fought Errol Spence Jr., he broke his eye socket as well. Errol Spence Jr. has never broken anyone's eye socket. Kell Brook has never had his eye socket broken before Gennady Golovkin. It stands to reason it only makes perfect logical sense that Gennady Golovkin was the true cause for both eye sockets being broken. You have to understand that Kell Brook dramatically outboxed Errol Spence Jr. for the first six rounds. He took Errol Spence Jr. 11 rounds. He was nowhere near close to being able to take Gennady Golovkin 11 rounds. So you have to understand that the strength, the size advantage, is going to be completely different. Errol Spence Jr. is not a big middleweight. He's a he's a big welterweight. And that's what a lot of guys have to realize. This guy is not an elite level boxer. He will not be able to utilize lateral movement against Triple G. These are skills that I've never seen Errol Spence Jr. display. So I'm not sure he even has these in his tool belt. And you have to look at it like this. Errol Spence Jr. can't walk down a Gennady Golovkin or he'll get stopped immediately. So there's only one option is to use lateral movement. So honestly, I don't even think it's a true matchup. I think Errol Spence Jr. is once again clout chasing on Gennady Golovkin's name because there's no way that he'd step into the ring with the Gennady Golovkin because he'd be stopped within five rounds. Once again, unbiased as always, it's the IBFP. Please share, like, and you must absolutely subscribe.